There he is. Looking great, my man. Mike Herrera. What's up, buddy? Hey, how you doing? Dude, I I'm... am doing all right, man. First of all, congratulations on so much that's been going on with you, man. You guys have done some really, really incredible stuff and just doing the damn thing for uh, throughout the whole entire quarantine and stuff. And both as a music fan, but also like as a, somebody who appreciates your band, I want to start off and say thanks, dude. Want to say thanks for doing that, man. It got me through some, uh, you know, got us all through some tough times for sure. You know, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, um, it's all it's all us artists really know how to do, right? Is just keep playing till the ship goes down, or as the ship goes down. <laughs> but uh, but at the same time, uh, innovating and doing things that that make sense. So it's it's uh, it's been a crazy year. 2020 actually ended up being a, a, a good year in a lot of ways, obviously not discounting all the, the terrible things that happened, but, and then 2021, just it's time to move forward. Time to time to go. Yeah. Let's go. Literally let's go. And it's something that I've been screaming all year. It's like, let's go. Come on, ball in. Let's go. But literally, man, I feel like we are turning around that corner, seeing that light, baby. And uh, we're definitely getting there where it's the fact that things are definitely going to, uh, you know, start getting better for us. That's what I kind of feel. I feel like things are going to start getting better, you know? Things are getting, we're getting our balance. Yeah. It, it, you know, no matter what you're doing, you know, it, even, even people that have actually left the music business, I mean, they're getting their balance in different ways. You know, you just figure out what it is you want to do and, and and make it happen and um and i think a lot of artists are, are just trying new things these days and it's it's cool to see yeah and uh everybody's gonna be ready and we're gonna be ready for whatever comes next and i and i completely agree with you man the fact is that um it's it's been tough but always music has been kind of that outlet for us to kind of get through happy times, bad times, depressing times, whatever it might be. But now music really, I went, I fell back into like nostalgic music to even like kind of even getting into other forms of jo uh, other genres of music that I might not have always really fully appreciated during the last year of my life. You know, everybody copes in different ways. And uh, I, I think that's a great way to, to dive into something that you wouldn't normally have time to do. And uh, MXPX actually released a song called Fever Dream. And it was kind yeah. of about just the fact that, you know, we we all had a little different schedule, right? A different schedule. So like I, it took me a while to get into, back into working out. Everything was, the gyms were closed, all this. And mm -hmm. I wasn't motivated like some people were like, oh, I just lost, you know, all this weight and ran 50 miles a day. And I'm just like, how are you doing? How are you motivating yourself? But I guess in other ways, I was motivating people almost to do that, you know, by right. doing music and, keep, you know, I never stopped doing music, but finally I've kind of, uh, I've rounded out my, my schedule a little bit where I'm, I'm getting active as well as still doing music. So I feel good. I feel good. The, the weather has been nice. I don't know. There's just something in the air. That was a sweet brag that you did, by the way, too, saying that you used to always go to the gym. Thanks for somebody who doesn't go to the gym. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for just oh, digging at us. <laughs> you know, I just find it as a good stress relief. You know, you don't even have to go to the gym. Maybe just go on a walk. I hate to turn this into self-help, but you need it, guys. Yeah. You need it. No, the you need a walk or just some, some activity where you yes. breathe the open air. Yes. Got to get that freshness, that realness, that goodness out there for everybody involved as we speak here in my career. By the way, something as easy as – I'll completely agree with you. Something as easy as going for a walk is so important these days, man, because um, I think mentally, physically, obviously, but definitely mentally, man, just that freshness, that fresh air and more – but it's also kind of like, you know, here I am in New York City and it's been kind of crazy. You know, obviously everybody doing their own thing and just, or trying to figure out how to get by and stuff. But even being able to just walk around Central Park or anything like that has mattered so much. So I definitely agree with you there, man. You don't have to lift 50 or 100, 100 pound weights. You can just go out and just move and be active and it still will help you mentally for sure. Definitely. Definitely. Now, listen, I got to say this, man. We're speaking here with Mike Carrera. Obviously, you know, he's been around for for the uh, for a while, just writing all the hits, loves music. Music is part of my career's life, has been able to write so many important songs throughout throughout, uh, you know, throughout his existence and throughout. Obviously, many people know him via MXPX, but he's done solo stuff. He's done throughout all. time, throughout the time. <laughs> but you guys did something MXPX I'm talking about right now. You guys did something mm -hmm. that was so rad because 
Shit goes down. Nobody knows what to do. You guys essentially said, fuck it. We're going to start doing live streams. And MXPX has done, I think, more live streams or more songs. You guys have done over 100 different songs, man, <laughs> throughout this time. And, like, requests and old ones and telling stories about it really kind of giving that personal connection while everyone was just stuck home. You know, it gave us an opportunity to 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 just get in in the practice room, which is also where we we do the live streams, and and uh, we just started going through songs, songs we never would play at a live show, and now we have this opportunity to put these sets together. Where even if you don't even know MXPX, you're gonna you're gonna enjoy the set because it's a good quality sort of set with roller coasters and and it ends well. And but. The songs themselves, yeah, it was a challenge to learn some of those songs. And and it gave us sort of like a reason to be, you know, it's kind of like being a survivor in the woods, you know, when you're <laughs> when you're put to the test, you know, and you're like, okay, I have to go and catch a fish or I have to go and like snare an animal or or I don't know, pick some berries, whatever it is you do, you gotta go do it, right? Uh, what do you wipe with in the woods? I don't know, probably leaves. <laughs> So we just figured that out, you know, and, and, and we actually went as far as to the reason why we've been able to do so many live streams um, is because we built a live stream studio right here. I'm pointing that way because it's that way, but, <laughs> but it was, uh, it was great. You know, it was a, another challenge that was something new for me to learn. Um, but, you know, as technology is, is just rocketing forward, of course, uh, everything you know, that happened with everybody being working, a lot of people working from home, that is, uh, everything's just gotten a lot better in the live stream situation. But luckily, here I am, here MXPX is, and the live streams have been insane. And, and it's been really great to be able to do them uh, through, uh, you know, through our website. But now, this weekend, actually, oh, yeah. this Friday, we're doing a free live show kind of a celebration because we have a new song coming out called can't keep waiting mm -hmm. and uh that releases this friday as well um everywhere on on all the streaming sites i hope you played on your show maybe but um you know it man i'm all up on it <laughs> but no that that's true and that and and for the for the viewers and the fans out there whether you're watching us live or you're listening to us afterwards gun show on adobe as well as spotify itunes youtube i'm everywhere baby it's all about that content like you were saying like we've had to adapt during these times and they all want content 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 well listen i'm trying to get back to the fans out there and one thing that you need to do though is this coming friday as you mentioned 6 30 left coast 9 30 east coast let's go is going to be mxbx.com um, the free live stream performance it's going to be sick but also like you said it's in coordination with the brand new song that's going to be dropping as well man um I, after all after this time in how does it feel does it feel different putting out a song now do you still get those butterflies those feelings of excitement and more these days this one's different actually uh you know and I, and it's easy to say that about every song you put out but um right. <laughs> You know, this one's different because not only are we putting out the new song, we're doing the free show. We're doing it free across all of the MXPX socials. So MXPX Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, MXPX.com. And we haven't done that before yet because we've always done it through like you buy a ticket on our on our web store at MXPX.com and then you you sign in and you watch. But uh, this is going to be a f almost a free for all. We're, we're going to be taking requests on all of the different comment strips. So we'll have those up on, on our screen or whatever. So we'll be able to see it um, and, and actually do it in real time and talk to people. You know, we're, we're not going to be we're not going to catch everything. Right. You know, so so the people that, that do get 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 that request in, they're going to be very, very, very happy. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. And back to the song. It is different because we've actually been playing this song. We've been right. developing the song live on these live streams. Mm -hmm. So it's been kind of uh, interesting. We've never really, not in, not in recent history, that is, we haven't released a song. We're very secretive when it comes to something. We usually will put out a song uh, and release it. And, and like, all right, it's coming out this Friday, you know, and, and nobody knew about it, you know, so. This was like Th an organic kind of buildup, almost like the fans were part of it or like every like a little bit of, along the way. They've heard it. Exactly. They've heard it. They've heard it be played live. They've never heard a studio version yet. So it'll be it'll be interesting to see if they're like, nope, that's not what I thought it was going to be. Or, yes, this is this is great. I'm so glad that 
finally this song is out. I mean, that's the idea, right? Um, and and the risk was was obviously that we would burn out the song before it was released. So um, I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. I don't normally think about releases this much. And I'm kind of like going, I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder if people are, I know people like the song. It's It's fast. You know, it's like, everybody wants a fast song, right? So like, they just want to just get in that room and just bounce around. So it, it has those elements. And, uh, and I think just the, the lyrics themselves really, uh, they're so, they're so MXPX in that they're uplifting to a very, a, a, a population of people that, that understand punk rock, that understand right. uh, growing up listening to this kind of music. But Outside of that, just what we just went through or what we're still going through, um, it's perfect because we can't just sit here and wait. We have to move forward with our lives, no matter what, no matter what. You have to figure out what you're going to do. And, I, you know, MXPX has always been that kind of band. And I think this song is just the next chapter for us. You mentioned that as you speak here with Mike Carrera. You can follow him on all the socials, Mike Carrera, TD, and then, of course, MXPX, the live stream happening this coming Friday across all the MXPX social platforms, 6.30 on the West Coast, 9.30 on the East Coast. Brand new song dropping, of course, midnight on the streaming platform. So do the damn thing. Follow, subscribe, be a fan, come hang out, tell all your friends, get the group chat going or the chats of the social platforms that's going to be on. Everyone's just going to be hanging back, drinking. If you, you want to drink, you can drink during it. You want to scream, you want to dance, you want to throw your own dance party inside your apartment or house while you're watching the live stream you're allowed to do that as well it will be a fun party for everybody something that we all need this coming friday but you did mention man and i mean you know mxpx is synonymous with really kind of i wouldn't say even bridging the gap but really kind of taking punk rock to it's um to helping to take uh punk rock to the forefront or really kind of like being able to kind of get that message across and you kind of said like uh, you're right. Like it feels like we're still dealing with some issue, whether it's political issues or social issues or all that stuff. It can all kind of come across, but also just the inner issues with keep fighting. You know, keep on mm-hmm. going on. Whether you were made fun of in high school that got you into punk rock, to whether there was some shitty situation going on family wise or in your town or in your city or your state that you just wanted to fight back or keep continuing on. That's what I think. Um, you know, punk rock's always been able to deliver, and MXPX is still, you know one of the few that are still going, you know, still have such a great platform, man. And that's a testament to yourself, the band, as well as the fans out there that are still holding on and still going strong and still are invested in you guys and that message. Thank you. That was really well said. I, I, I agree. Um, I feel like MXPX has a, a common thread that a lot of the listeners and a lot of people growing up just in any walk of life, it's all not just Americans, you know, all over the world. Um, you know, you have this teen angst experience, you know, and then you find music and you find friends and you go to shows and you, you, you know, you, you, whatever it is, you find something that you latch on to. And I think MXPX has that common thread um, with our songs, you know, and with like something like Let's Ride, with something like the new song Can't Keep Waiting. It's, it's, everybody has a story, right? And we're telling, I'm telling a few of my stories in Can't Keep Waiting, you know, and you know, the lyrics, I've been late, I've been last, I've been so wrong in the past, <laughs> probably even right now. Actually, the lyrics, maybe even right now. And, uh, <laughs> cause I'm just always wrong, but uh, everybody can relate to that kind of stuff in their own, their own thread, you know? And, and I feel like MXPX has always um, tried to, I don't know if we've even tried We've just, we've just been a common thread for uh, the punk rock community. I don't want to, um, you know, date it or anything like that. But I, I'll say it for my son. You can agree if you want, but and if you don't, you don't have to. But like, you know, I'm looking around, and even during these times, like I said, I was delving into like more nostalgic type songs. You know, when I was kind of down to, you know, or wasn't able to leave my fucking apartment here in New York City because you couldn't do anything because everyone's freaking out, obviously, with COVID and stuff. So I was just listening to a lot of different, you know, music and bands and stuff. And, um, you know, a lot of our friends have come and gone in the music sense. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, it's 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 important, I feel, for punk rock to continue 
going and continue uh, thriving and surviving. And that's why adapting, doing these live streams and stuff. But, dude, MXPX, man, you, you got to look back, man. One of the coolest things that you guys were able to do was you just, you know, you release all the vinyl. And they sold the fuck out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they fucking sold yes. out like that, bro. That was so rad, bro. I was like, fuck yeah. People care. And, like, that's awesome, bro. Yes, the MXPX box set was a huge success, and and um, it's in manufacturing. And um, thank you to everybody that ordered. Uh, we we wanted to do it. We we wanted to do it for years and years, and we've been working on it for years. And there was times where we thought it wasn't going to happen, and and finally, Tom Chichilla really made it happen with with working with Universal to license uh, the albums because they own most of our albums, and then and then Side One Dummy owns Panic. And they were easy to work with. Obviously, one record's pretty easy to, to make the deal on. But um, I encourage any bands that that um, can do it themselves. It is expensive because you got to pay those those fees, those licensing. But um, not to get into the business end, but it's it's so worth it because it's part of the legacy. It's part of like everything we've worked so hard for over the years to have that all in one place. And then the people that just constantly ask nagging, nagging, when are you going to have this on vinyl, this on vinyl? Now we have it all on vinyl, then you can fight over it. But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we're, we're super happy with that. And, and I think the main thing that, that another lesson here is ownership. We don't own every single one of our records. Like I was saying, we licensed a bunch of those records, but the last, um, the last, maybe eight to 10 years we've we've owned everything we've released and that's not for everybody because it is a lot of work but if you're if you're down to diy it um if you're these a lot of bands that listen to probably your show a lot and a lot of bands that listen to like my podcast they want to know what what do you do what do you do how do you how do you get there and it's work every day but it's fun work because we get to be creative we get to we get to have ideas and then go oh it'd be cool to do a box set all right that's going to take some time all right are we up for this you know and then you can make it happen but uh it, it's it's putting heads together and, and mxpx has a great team so I just want to touch on that. And then, of course, I know you, I think you get your acoustics as well. Maybe we'll jam out a little bit or have some fun, or at least like we can talk about the new music or, or new songs, uh, et cetera. But going on that, because I, you know, whether people are watching us live right now and the gun show has switched, if you are, make sure to drop that follow right below. And uh, definitely, uh, you know, thank you for joining us there. Or you're listening to us on the replay on Adobe Radio, Spotify, iTunes, et cetera. Thank you for that as well. But a lot of bands do, you know, watch and listen to my show. A lot of people that work in the industry and more do as well. Um, we've all heard the horror stories. Some of us have probably had the horror stories. Depends. Who knows? With the quote-unquote industry out there, the music industry, the world out there, a lot of things, a lot of bands that should have made it, never were able to make it, song placement, producers, all sorts of craziness, hence the world, hence the word, the industry. But you would, um, I guess, what advice would you give? Because now it's almost like, listen, you can get a song on, you can be a solo artist, a, uh, unsigned artist, you can get a song on TikTok and all of a sudden, boom, it's got... 30 million plays and you're like oh my god you know what i mean or like or, or you can <laughs> yeah. be torn for 20 years and not own any of your rights to music regardless of what genre it is what kind yeah. of what would you say about that though or like what would you kind of sell bands out there perhaps that are interested in that or just like you know what maybe we are being screwed here <laughs> yeah there's a couple different ways to look at it uh, uh you know i I look at music as something fun for one. And, and today it's different than it was back when I started. And so if you're starting today, I, I really almost view it as a, a video game in a way where life is in a, you could just do this with life, not just the music industry, but it, it's like pitfall. You know, there's pitfalls after pitfalls, there's booby traps. It's like you're Indiana Jones, you're rolling the balls after you. <laughs> and you know, like the people that, that like, dodge those dodge the ball right you 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 finally get somewhere and you you know you get out and then you know you you think okay we've made it you know i've got i got out i'm not dead all right and you walk up and then there's the tribe and and they're taking your you know they shot you with an arrow or you know whatever it is right you, it, hopefully people have seen indiana jones they understand <laughs> what's happening. Yeah, yeah. I, I think otherwise that, yeah. they're like what are you talking no, about the premise works so yeah it's like you got through all the hard work you finally put out this music and then you don't even have it anymore. like yeah yeah like, like yeah. something happens so like i think just life is like that and and if you if you just look at it like okay let's just go as far as i can and keep going and, and something's gonna pull me back and then you just you start again you know you you have another life and you go and um and if you don't love playing the game i guess 
then, then it's not worth doing it because there's a lot easier ways to make money, to make a living in this life. And, and most people I know that, that are lifers in music, whether you're an artist or you're an industry person, they're lifers because they love it. And then this is, they, they can't see themselves really doing much else. Hmm. So ask yourself those questions. What is it? Why is it you're doing it? And if, if you just want to get famous, then just play it like a game. If you, if you just want to be successful because you love doing music or you love being an artist, being creative, it's kind of the same thing. You still have to play that, that game because pitfalls are everywhere. Hmm. I think that's the truth, man. And, you know, a band that's been able to do it, like, you, you know, whether it's your, your, your solo stuff you've been able to do or you, I mean, you're still going straw man, still putting it out. For example, the brand new song comes out this coming Friday that uh, everyone can go and check out via MXPX. I want to give a quick shout out, uh, Eddie or E-D-I-E. So it could be Edie, it could be Eddie. Not really sure either way, <laughs> but uh, it, E-D-I-E says, when I was in middle school, my mom handed me her MXPX album from when she was in college. Six years later... Now I'm here. How awesome is that, man? That's wild. That's also wild, but that's cool, though. That's wild. Know? That's some sort of quantum physics theory going on, like where it's like the ripple effect. Yeah, I don't understand just, life either. But. But, 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 but is that rad, though, that like, it, you know, that the music still can span, you know, a lot of those songs, like, you know, those those those, those themes that you guys put out, doing time, whatever it might be, you know, or like, party my house be there let's go you know <laughs> those are universal that still can go on yeah. to this day and now like when live shows come back i don't know if this has happened to you but have like parents brought their like kids to your shows like have you like meet and greets and stuff like have you seen like almost the generations come throughout the years oh there's been yeah there's been generations for years yeah. and, and it's been it's been great it's been wonderful and and i love seeing the mxpx families where you have the parents that are fans and the kids that are wearing the merch that are just like singing punk rock show and singing let's ride now i mean we were on the tony hawk video game uh let's ride and uh just to just to know that a brand new song that came out in 2018 which is our, it's actually our, our number one listen to song like on apple and and a lot of the streaming sites but uh it's it's weird because now a, a new generation of people are going to discover that song uh, playing that video game and they might not even know of you know we have a bunch of albums, you know, <laughs> nine other albums in the past and stuff like they'll just be like, oh, 2018. Like, That's kind of a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's wild, though. That's a great example, though, because, I, you know, we're on Twitch right now. A lot of gamers are checking us out. And obviously, Tony Hawk is, was massive. And the fact that it just came out again, uh, you know, last year, the reissue or whatnot, the, uh, mm -hmm. Feldman had always said that Goldfinger when Superman dropped. He said that song just propelled all of a sudden, like it, even from the live show attendance. Now they were selling out everywhere because people knew their their song from Tony Hawk from you know yeah. from ten years ago, fifteen years ago, whatever. I think fifteen, twenty years, whatever it was. And Superman at the time, obviously, yeah. That song, he says it it changed his life. Yeah. He said it changed. He was he was selling shoes, and he was writing songs, and you know trying to trying to be in bands like we all were, right? And and that song just changed his life. Like he didn't have to. He he could just focus on music after that. And and that's the power of, of Tony Hawk, you know, the legacy of Tony Hawk. And, and, you know, back then it of course uh, was even bigger nowadays. It, it actually, yeah. I mean, it, it's evidence that it helped a lot of these, these acts that were on the new one in 2020, including our song, let's ride. Right. Um, amazing to be part of that. And I think in 10, 15, 20 years, we'll probably I could probably say the same thing. Like uh, there's a lot of things that have changed my life, but, um, but for Feldy to have something so definitive, it's really, it's really hard to say, you know, the one thing that MXPX that sort of like made and broke us because we've had so many of those, you know, not a lot of bands get second chances. We've had like third, fourth chances. Like we just keep going, right. but uh, it, it's been amazing. And, and you're it right. still like, is when, when you look back at like you know that for him to be able to point pick pinpoint one specific 
instant for mm-hmm. Feldy to be like, yo, that literally changed my life. Like I went from there to all of a sudden, like, you know, becoming, you know, Goldfinger becoming Goldfinger. Of course, here in your bedroom was, you know, Smash as well and stuff and like 99 Balloons, et cetera. I mean, it, it, I mean, first of all, Goldfinger had so much, but literally like Superman getting that placement in Tony Hawk and PlayStation 2 at the time where every kid got it for Christmas and the holidays, all of a sudden it was like a given and it just blasted it off. And to be able to pinpoint that specific thing, um, somebody asked us a question Terrence, uh, this guy Terrence in the chat room, not really a question, but just, uh, I'll put it into a question. He says, I saw MXPX with Alistair and Zebrahead uh, mm. back in New York City. I'm sure you get this question a lot, man, but, you know, you guys have been able to play everywhere with everybody. Um, I had our buddy JR from uh, Less Than Jake on during the pandemic because they put out a new album, which was really solid, by the way. So shout out Less Than Jake. But they, he... Uh, he said one of the more random things, but coolest moments that he had was they were on, I forget what the tour name was, but it was Lincoln Park and Snoop Dogg. And Less Than Jake was opening every day on the main stage. It was just all these like random rap acts. And then <laughs> Lincoln Park really liked, or somebody in the camp from Lincoln Park really liked, or Snoop Dogg, somebody from the, it was the Lincoln Park or Snoop Dogg that heard about Less Than Jake was like, yeah, love the, love the saxes, love the, like, love the horns, put them on. And then they were just on <laughs> that tour. Sure. What are some of your favorite tours or memories that you've been able to do or kind of even more of the random ones like that where you're just like, yeah, I guess we're touring Snoop Dogg now. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've had, you know, uh, you know, uh, one of the random, more random bills was probably the Offspring and Cypress Hill and MXPX. And that was, uh, you know, hip hop. And um, that was fun. It was great. And those guys were always trying to hand us the bong, the giant bong. So it was it was a good tour. And I you know I we've had we've been on so many eclectic tours. You know, we toured with No Doubt in 97 and um The Selector was was main support we opened. And so that that's quite a different bill from what we were normally used to. English ska with the No Doubt, you know, super they were per, they were like at the height of their Yeah, that's like Tragic Kingdom era that Tragic Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, Tragic Kingdom. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So that was our first bus. We had to get a bus to, to be on that tour because it was just insane. Yeah. So like you can't show up to like a, an arena tour or, a, or a, you know, a, an outdoor shed tour or something with a van. Well, you can. People do it, actually. <laughs> we, we probably but, um, would now. You're like, I swear I'm in the band. We're playing today. We swear. And they'll be like, oh, yeah, Gwen Stefani, nope. no doubt. Sure. Like, yeah. Just like, no, we're playing. That's I know her. I know her. Come on. <laughs> yeah, buddy. That's Whatever, funny. kid. But uh, yeah, um, who else? Uh, there's so many. Uh, I mean, it's funny, less than Jake. I mean, now that I remember it, you know, with Feldy, the first time I ever met Feldy was we were opening for Sex Pistols and they were on the tour with Sex Pistols. So they were on the show as well. And we opened, they played and then Sex Pistols. So um, that was insane. It was in Seattle. 19 around 96 97 i think it was 97 again it was a it was a big year for mxpx but uh yeah that was insane um we we you know these days we keep it more in the pop punk thing but um we when you hit festivals that's when it gets fun again uh as far as like the the lineups we've had some some pretty interesting ones uh, last few years for sure. And we always end up meeting back up with the offspring as well. So it's right. like <laughs> full circle. And, and you look at those bands. I mean, like it is almost like a family atmosphere being able to, you know, for the ones that are still going strong and still being able to put out, I mean, the offspring just put out new music less than Jake just dropped an album last year. You know what I mean? So it still feels good. Mm-hmm. Or even like the new founds, like the new found glories and, and all that, that are still doing. And then the next generation after that, the all time lows that look up to you guys and respect you guys. And like, you know, considered you guys, the reason they got into it. And then blink putting out a new album, like, all that stuff. So for those that are still able to do it, it's kind of it's uh it's definitely definitely a rad thing. And Fallout Boy still going strong and and, and whatnot there. I got a, a one more question for you as we speak here with Mike Herrera. Follow him on all the socials. Mike Herrera TD been doing a lot of cool stuff. The live stream is this coming Friday. MXPX.com is all the info there. But it's nine thirty on the East Coast, six thirty on the Left Coast, and it's going to be wild because it's free. First of all, it's free. And we all love free stuff. So anybody can enjoy this and hang out. It's a Friday night as well. So you might as well freaking party like it was old times. And you can do that same thing this coming Friday as well for free. And uh, MXPX. And they'll be able to look at a lot of the comments in the chats and stuff going on across all the platforms. So it's like you're right there. So that's going to be cool. One more question. I look back at, you know, you played over 110 songs. 
throughout all these different quarantines, et cetera, that you guys have been able to do and just, you know, requests and backstories, very cool stuff that you've been able to do on your Insta uh, Instagram and, and social platforms. But did you have a, uh, was there one song that kind of might have hit you differently now in 2020 slash 2021? Like the lyrics suddenly, like, you're just like, damn, like I wrote this when I was like maybe 2025, 20, whatever it might have been. And all of a sudden, like, wow, it's really hitting home now because of the situation that we're in. You know, what comes to mind is our song called Waiting for the World to End. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it's a little less hopeful than I think Can't Keep Waiting is the new song. So, yeah. <laughs> but we did that song and it, and it was like, it sounded really good. So um, I think we it probably on our YouTube, MXPX has been releasing songs from our Between This World and the Next live on the Internet shows. Um, we'll take one song put it up every Monday on the MXPX YouTube channel. So that's, you know, if you're looking for for a little sample, I think, uh, you know, there's a bunch of songs on there, but I think Waiting for the World to End is is on there. And that's one that kind of hit you hard too. Or it not hit, hit you, but yeah. 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 Well, yeah, it, 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 it still hits hard. It's like, oh, we're still, we're all, it's like, in some ways it's like, oh, this is actually serious, but then, you know, I wrote that, I don't know, we were probably, you know, there's always some, there's always something you think is serious going on. You know, we had, uh, we had 9-11, of course, that was devastating. We had a lot of things that have happened um, throughout the world. You know, you hear about tsunamis in Japan and, and all this stuff. So like, it's, it's relevant to different people at different times in their lives, you know? <laughs> so uh, to hear that again and to like get into it and play it. Cause we never played it live back in the day. It was just always on an album. It was on our panic album. So that was 2005. Um, not that old really, if you think about it, but still, <laughs> still it's, 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 you know, it's, it's a ways ago, but um, it's still perfect for, for today. And I think it's going to be great as, as years go on. So nice. it'll be there. <laughs> Well, yeah, and, and, and people will be able to listen to it if they want. At least the option is there. And, of course, this coming Friday, we'll have a ton of songs that they'll be able to go through. Man, I'm pumped. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. And you should be as well for the viewer as well as the listener out there. I don't know if I'm putting you on the spot. Are you able to do an acoustic song? Are you aware of doing an acoustic song? Do you? I want can do to an do acoustic it? song. Well, I'm, do I'm, do I'm sitting here yeah. in the studio. Fuck so. it, right? Yeah. Awesome. Let's, let's, let's have Mike Carrera jam out. Acoustic song. That's how the gun show does, baby. The gun show has switch. Drop us a follow right below. A lot of energy, a <laughs> lot of fun. That's what we do here. If I put you on the spot, I put you on the spot. But you're my man, dude. We've known each other for years now. And I'm just so happy to reconnect and talk to you, man. And uh, I think the listeners and the viewers will be as well, man. Hell yeah. Yeah. Let's see if, let's see if this sounds all right. I'm going right. to push the mic back a little bit. And uh, maybe it'll blend. Yeah. the gun show all right so this is uh this is the new song i'm gonna do i guess an acoustic version of of can't keep waiting which doesn't exist except for right now i'm about to do it <laughs> let's go here we go First turn. 
words Live your heart fight Out of your chest Cause of sadness And we're all still stuck here Waiting for whatever's next Cause all that I wanted was to see you And to feel the way it used to I treated all to hold you in my arms again Can't keep waiting Waiting for what's next while the world keeps changing I'm just hoping for the best with days so strange Yo, let's go, baby. Oh, dude, sounds so good, man. Is that right? So good. Cool, cool. Dude, Thank yeah, you. man. <laughs> now people will be able to see the full band version Friday, right? Full band version Friday, and you get to hear it on, it's streaming everywhere Friday, as well Absolutely. as we're going to play it live. Awesome, yeah, we'll man. play it live. Dude, that was, man, God. I always loved something about you, man. It's like you, everyone, not all artists have a unique voice, but... Herrera, you always had a unique voice. So much so that if I heard a song, I'd be like, boom, Herrera. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. It's a blessing and a curse, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, if the song's good, it's always a blessing. But if you're just like, eh, I wish we never recorded that one that way. But yeah, dude, that sounded great though, man. Thank you so much for coming on. And dude, my man, thank you so much for also being a homie throughout the years, man. I appreciate it. Like you've always, uh, you know, just been so rad to me and, uh, you know, and to the audience and stuff and just... Uh, and to the fan base throughout throughout the years, and um, like I said, when the, when that vinyl sold out and like the response that came out, that was I thought that was I don't know that was meaningful and impactful for me. Somebody that you know started listening to you guys, you know, and got me through all those times, and just you know, and would play at the talent show, Chick Magnet, you know what I mean? Like that was like one of the first <laughs> yeah. guitar riffs I learned, and I played right that on. at the <laughs> talent show because I could, because I was you know like, and just got me through that. So uh, thanks so, so much, well, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, Guns, you're, you're amazing. I love what you do. So thanks for having me on. Awesome. And, of course, the party begins this coming Friday. Check it out. MXPX.com has all the info. Of course, you can follow them on the, all the socials. Mike Carrera, TD, is his socials as well. The song drops, though. So here's the thing. Learn the lyrics. The song will come out Monday, uh, Friday. The song comes out <laughs> Friday on streaming. Learn the lyrics so that way when you see it at night, you can jam out in the comfort of your home or apartment to it. How about that? Sounds That's good. right. That's right. If you're on the East Coast, it's midnight. If you stay up late, you can just boom. Do the damn thing. Awesome, my Add man. Add it up. Uh, thank you so much. Anything else you want to say to all the fans out there, whether they're watching us live or they're listening to us, whatever it might be, anything you want to say to those uh, to the fans, old and new, my friend? I just want to say thanks to everybody that's uh, been there old and new. Um, it's been it's been an amazing ride to be able to be part of punk rock and to to do what I do to be, you know, playing bass and singing and uh, writing songs. It's it's uh, it's not something I take lightly. So I appreciate everybody that listens. And uh, and and you know what? We're we're uh, we're better together. So uh, I appreciate all the bands out there that are out there being creative and and hustling and, and making it happen. So let's get up. Let's get up. There we go. There we go. And also, I got to give you props because I was on a couple of the live streams, dude. You've been the jump kick is still there, man. You didn't. You didn't. Tear, <laughs> you, did, you didn't tear a hammy. You didn't pull a hammy or anything. No, no. I just have fun with it. Yeah, it's it's a good time. <laughs> and you didn't. And you didn't fall into the drum set. So you know you, that was good. You two for two yeah. right there. You still were going yeah, yeah, strong yeah. though, man. You were going all out in the comfort of that uh, that studio living room, whatever that kind of whatever we're describing it, it was. And uh, it worked out, man. It was fun. You can tell that you were just like, "Fuck yeah, we're doing this." So very cool yeah. stuff, man. Oh, we're doing it. We're still doing it, and and we're we're making it happen on the regular. There it is. <laughs> so this thank you. This coming Friday, make sure to check it out. It's our buddy Mike Carrera. Follow him on all the socials. My man, appreciate you coming on as always, dude. Take care, be safe, and uh, we'll rock out. We'll see you this coming Friday, man. Yeah.